welcome back to my beauty and lifestyle channel thank you so much for joining me over on this side if you are new to my channel never seen my face before i am shauna j i am um I don't even know what you call me. I'm, I guess I'm a YouTuber. Okay. Um, I mostly talk about fragrances here on YouTube, but, um, that's over on another channel that I have on this channel. Um, I mostly talk about beauty lifestyle. I do mommy vlogs and stuff like that because of course I'm a mother of two girls and I'm currently married. So I, you know, that's, that's what I got going on over here. If you're new to the channel and you are interested in following my journey, because I'm gonna, um, I'm definitely gonna be recording my journey, talking about things, and I'm gonna be very open, very honest, and very candid um, because this feels right to me. Now, I know a lot of you guys know me in a different way. All you've ever seen from me is, um, you know, like I said, me talking about my fragrances. Um, you guys see me in action when I'm being a mom, when I'm being a wife. You guys, that's all you guys know about me. And it's kind of like all that I know also. Okay, so this is going to be very new for me. Now, I understand that some of you guys really love me and you care about me. At this point, it probably feels like I'm family. And a lot of you guys want me to keep that little part of myself private. But I'm choosing to heal in this way. Okay, because that's what I'm doing right now. This is a journey for me. And it's not easy. And what a lot of people need to understand is that not everyone has the support system that you may have. You may have sisters. You may have a, a mom that you could go to. You may have aunts. You may have a, a gang of friends. You may have that. And I've mentioned quite a lot in my other videos that I have not much of a social life. Um, I don't really have a lot of friends. I have very loving supporting family members that i'm sure i could go to but i'm just i sometimes you just don't want to bombard the people in your life with issues that you have especially if you have been having these issues and you've always kind of dragged them into it and sometimes it feels so real that you just don't it, it's it's i just it's almost as though i don't want the the interaction i just want to be able to pour my heart out you know and when you're talking to people you can't really do that but any guys um, anyway, guys, I'm just here to talk to you guys about what's going on in my life because really that's what this channel is about. And I'm not going to lie. I'm nervous about this. I am nervous about this because I've never put anything out this personal um, about myself. I don't know what the future holds. I don't know if things are going to change. And I, I just don't know. Right. But in this moment, I want to talk about it now. If you follow my fragrance channel, you know that last year um, I took up the whole year off. Like I wasn't recording. I wasn't being too productive. I was just like in a freaking haze when it came on to my emotion. It was very up and down. Me and my husband, we had a very challenging year. Our relationship went through a lot. At the end of the year, we decided that we wanted to continue to work on the relationship because of course... We have two daughters together. We have a 12-year-old and we have an 8-year-old. Um, my 12-year-old, she is special needs, um, but she's definitely functional, okay? She just has a, com um, a communicational type of issue or intellectual issue, but, um, you know, it brings in challenges, but it could be much worse. You know, my, my kids are just awesome and amazing, and I always want to fight for them. Ooh. Hmm. See, I don't I don't want to do that. But it's fresh. This is a couple of days after um my husband walked out. And I'm not here to place blame because I think we both did a lot of wrong. I think we both went about this wrong. As much as we have experienced being married, as much as we love each other, we care about each other, we still could not get it right because I think we both decided that um, we, we were gonna behave badly, okay? And this is what it came down to. So um, I'm gonna insert some clips, 
so you guys are gonna get a little bit more detail because I don't want to go through every single detail I just want to talk about how I'm feeling today so today is ooh, what is today today is April 8th so it's been a week as a matter of fact today makes a week since my husband left um I'm still in shock the shock is wearing off because now I'm feeling some other emotions some overwhelming emotions and sometimes it's best that your body goes into shock that your brain goes into shock that you go into shock because it prevents you from really um, it prevents you from really processing everything at once and I think I'm, I, I appreciate the fact that it took me a good couple of days before I really understood what was going on. Don't get me wrong, it, it clicked, but it didn't, it, didn't, it didn't hit the way I know it's supposed to hit. Just to not ramble too much, um, my husband walked out. Me and him, we've been having issues. A lot of the issues that we have has to do with communication. I am very big on communication. I mean, what I do here on my channel is all about communication. And I communicate, in my opinion, effectively. Okay? Except when I'm upset, then you may not be able to get a word in. And I know that's a fault of mine. Okay? But um, I have other redeeming qualities that I would say kind of balance things off. So even though when I get upset, I go off. But I'm also very quick to apologize, quick to catch myself, and quick to try to fix that. And, and, and I'll do my very best not to repeat that. So today is a full week since my husband left. Um, I did not see coming. We were having issues. As a matter of fact, we were going through a period of where we were not really talking to each other about anything other than the kids, but that's quite normal with us. Whenever we have an argument, that's kind of how it's dealt with. Not by my choice. I always want to talk about things. I always want to resolve things. I always just kind of want to bring things to the forefront and solve problems. And he's a bit different. He's kind of more um, the type of person that doesn't communicate. He doesn't talk a lot. He just wants everything to be rosy. And I understand that. But sometimes issues got to be spoken about. And it's only so much you could throw under the rug before it really starts to kick up and cause more problems okay because if you're not dealing with any issues then what are you doing you know so i guess eventually um he decided that it was too much for him um there were requests that i made that i thought was fair and i thought would be positive for our growth in our marriage because that was one of the issues that I have. There was no growth. Okay. There was no talk of growth. There was no talk of the future. There was no talk about what's next. There, it was just, you know, one day rolling into the other and it, it didn't feel progressive at all. And I hate that feeling. I want to feel as though we have something in mind, something's going to happen, something to look forward to. And he's just quite the opposite. He doesn't mind getting up and just you know, he's just on autopilot, not thinking about anything else about, other than today. Um, another issue kind of was like not confiding in me. I'm the type of person that I love closeness. I appreciate closeness and I crave closeness. And that's not only with like a, a spouse. That's like in friendships too, relative relationship, anything. I like to feel as though we're we're both being vulnerable with each other. I like that feeling because otherwise it's very surface level and it just feels fake to me. And he's all, he's a quite the opposite. If he doesn't have to talk about anything below the surface, he won't go there. Okay? That's where he lives above the surface and I kind of live below. But for the most part, I have to say above because if not, then we're always going to be having an argument. But, you know, I'm feeling better. I think more of what I'm feeling today with him not being here is uh, is overwhelm. And I think that's the experience that a lot of women have 
when this sort of thing happens to them because I've been married for the last 30 well I've been married for the last I would say 11 years but we've been together for like 13 or 14 years and when you're like a team for that long and you don't do a lot on your own and you always have someone that's helping you out when that person ups and leave in the middle of the confusion in the middle of everything then your head spin and i would say if if there's anything that i'm upset about is that they're not giving me the heads up the the That decision to knock the wind out of me. Um, after all these years, I'm sorry guys, but I had to take a break. After all these years of knowing someone and thinking that, you know, we, we care about each other to an extent, I would really... Um, <clears throat> I would really think that that person would want me to be prepared for a news like that. Right now, all I do for money is YouTube. And, um, you know, it just doesn't feel like it's going to cut it. So I've been doing a lot of scrambling, trying to get myself help. When I'm not feeling worried or scared, I'm in survival mode. Because a lot of times what happens, you don't get the chance to lay down and cry and and, and, and and feel all the emotions because I'm literally in survival mode. So already I'm applying for financial assistance. I'm applying for everything that I think I may be qualified for and I'm not even sure if I'm going to get that. Okay? And that's another nerve-wracking thing. I'm not sure what's going to happen to me. I'm not sure what's going to happen to the kids. I'm not sure if I'm going to even be able to continue to do this because I may have to look for a regular job, which is hard because I'm still responsible for the kids because we know when the men leave, they leave with just them and their clothes. Okay, everything else stays here. The utilities have to stay on. The kids still have to eat. The rent still has to be paid. Everything still has to get done. They leave everything it's to the point where i'm sort of numb i'm not in fight mode anymore i'm not fighting for this anymore because i think i've done too much of that and i think what i was asking for in my marriage was not too much i thought i thought it was fair and i and i still think that it would have benefited everyone involved including my kids but it just didn't work out like that okay but guys i'm gonna leave you guys with this video and um hopefully you know i'll make a little bit more sense because today i'm a little bit more level-headed i'm not so emotional so it's harder to come by when i'm not so emotional so i'm gonna leave you guys with the rest of this video so it is april 2nd and it is i think 8 30 in the morning and my life has totally changed as of today well as of last night but today is going to be the first full day yesterday and I'll try to keep it together, but understand that this is like really raw. Um, last night, my husband walked out. He just left me and the kids. Um, I didn't see it coming. We were not in the best place. We did talk divorce because we had, or we have so many issues that we just can't seem to resolve. Um, a lot of problems were fixable, and some problems that we had were a little bit more challenging. <clears throat> um, but we did speak about doing this in a very amicable way, if we were gonna do it. I mean, the last thing I wanted to do was 
cause any more dysfunction within his life so i agreed to a to an amicable situation and for the most part i thought that's what he wanted to do also but i guess they're right when it comes on to divorce people um they exhibit their worst characteristics right um he just didn't want to play nice right so on a monday evening when we were supposed to get in our kids ready for school the next day when we were supposed to be kind of spitting the household duties and stuff like that he just up and left he literally walked into our bedroom i was just i wasn't bothering him i wasn't doing anything wrong everything has been okay i i haven't been bothering him um <clears throat> i wanted to give him a lot of space um, but however, he walked into the bedroom and immediately I knew something wasn't right. But I've seen that look before. You know, when he said he wanted to talk, I thought he wanted to talk about the issues that we had, which I should have known better because he never does that. <laughs> he never does that. I'm always the one trying to initiate, you know, conversation communication resolving issues i'm that person and sometimes when you're the person fighting the hardest you get a bad rap you know this time i decided not to do anything about it i decided to leave him alone not try just allow him to come to me little did i know that when he came to me it was gonna be him telling me that he was leaving now, when he told me that he was leaving, I didn't realize that he was leaving. He was going to leave maybe a couple of minutes later. I thought that was just him giving me a heads up because we spoke about doing things in an avocable way. So we're not going to leave each other stranded. We're not going to be difficult. We're not going to do any of that. We have two kids and they're worth a lot more than some nonsense. Um, I stayed in my bedroom, so I had no idea that he had left. Maybe an hour later, walked out of my bedroom, and I'm looking around, and I'm noticing that things are missing. Um, just a lot of things didn't seem right, but nothing was done. Like, nothing was done. Like, the things that he would be responsible for was not done. He just literally walked out. I thought maybe he he went for a quick walk, maybe he took... A little drive I, I I was confused I didn't know what was going on so I called him to find out what was going on and he didn't pick up and as a last effort to find out what was going on I asked my daughter my youngest child if daddy said anything to her and she said yes daddy said that he was leaving and he wasn't gonna come back until Wednesday because he's expecting a delivery and he'll come by and stop for that um, for the package and that's how I found out that he actually physically left and I went into complete shock I went into shock and fear mode I've never been by myself not with my kids <laughs> I've never been alone with my kids I've been alone with my kids but I always knew he was gonna walk in that door but yeah so that was rough for me. Um, we had issues last year. Personal issues that I'm not going to get into. And he left for maybe a month. And um, that was a little bit different because I kind of felt like we needed that space. There was a lot of toxicity going on. And I felt like him leaving was the right thing to do, even though I did not enjoy it. Um, but this is the first time he's going to leave just because we're having issues that could what i would call be resolved um how am i feeling like i said i'm in shock um i feel hurt disappointed i feel humiliated i feel scared i'm worried um i'm in some sort of element that i'm not used to okay I've seen, I've tried so hard to not get myself ooh, 
into this situation. I accepted a lot of crap. I've put up with a lot just because of that fear of this happening. But it still happened. I just didn't want to do that whole single mom and all that stuff, which is why I took a lot of crap for the past 13 years. By year three, I knew I had a lot of, I knew I was going to have a lot of difficulties because by the time it was year three, I actually tried to leave and he begged me not to leave. There were other issues that would come up and he would beg me not to leave. And um, I think it's kind of funny that he wanted to leave when he wanted to leave. He didn't want to be left, which is why he would fight every single time I would try to leave. So because of who I am and, you know, my inability to give up on a situation because I didn't want to give up on my kids and my family and the lifestyle that I had, um, I just, I would always forgive, forget, move on, you know, kick things under the rug that needed to be resolved. And I was just, in the last portion, I was just taking a lot of crap. And it was turning me into a person that I did not recognize and that I didn't like. Um, you know, there's a, there's a small part of me that knows that this is for the best, but it is scary as hell. And I'm just, I'm just going through the motions. I'm just going through the motions. I mean, being left feels, it makes you feel worthless, right? I know I'm worth a lot, but I don't care what nobody says. Nobody jumps for joy when someone walks out on, out on them and their kids. Especially the fact that we have kids. And I'm worried that my kids are going or they're gonna go through the same emotion that I'm going through. I would hate for I would hate to know that my kids are gonna feel the way I feel, which is rejected and not loved, you know. But my job now is to ensure that my kids get the best version of me. I'm gonna I'm gonna try my hardest. I got up this morning and it was business as usual, right? What I'm not going to do is do what I did the last time, which was fall off and not be productive and all that stuff. And I hope you guys don't hold this against me. Don't use this to judge me. I know that's hard, but, you know, I have another channel. You guys know that where I um, talk about my fragrances and stuff like that. Um, that's my happy place. So when I'm there, that's my happy place. Okay. It's, it's just one of the things that I do in my life that really, really remove me from negativity. Okay. So I kind of want to keep that energy over there. Right. With updates and stuff, we come over here. Okay. But when I'm talking about my perfumes, I don't want any questions about what we talk about over this side. Try to keep it separate. I know that's kind of like strange, but you know, that's a, that, that channel is a channel that I want to keep very professional. If I wanted to do vlogs and if I wanted more views, if I wanted more, um, support, I could upload my vlogs onto that channel. I would get way more traffic, but it's not about that. This channel is my real life that I want to document. And unfortunately, this is what's happening right now. I know I could just carry on like nothing is happening i know that and you know you guys will not know any better but y'all know i'm an authentic person and if this is too real for y'all and you know then i get that and honestly i know there's a bunch of you guys that want me to be private and stuff like that guys let me tell you something it's when life for life there, there's if i when i feel the need to not share i'll, I'll know to not share Getting a divorce, being walked out on is not a joke. And it's nothing to really be embarrassed about. It could happen to any freaking body. Okay? And I'm not going to hide in a corner and shut my mouth. Because a lot of people do that. And that's fine if that's what they want to do. But I don't feel like doing that. This is what I want to do. This is an outlet for me. Okay? What a lot of people don't understand too is that we... Like, there are people that don't have a lot of support. Okay, we don't have people that we could talk to and, you know, some people would listen, but, you know, the advice is just, you could tell they don't get it. Okay, and right now, 
I don't know if I need advice. Maybe I do because I'm not in a position to not take advice, honestly. Because as you guys know, I quit my 9 to 5 job and you know what? I don't have a lot of financial support right now. I really don't. Um, guys, I don't know where and how I'm going to do this. I really don't know. Like I said, I'm worried. And I'm stressed. Um, you know, I have... We, we have tried therapy, but I found a therapist and he did two sessions. And after two sessions, he became frustrated with the therapist because, of course, she's... She's doing her job, you know, she's asking questions and she's trying to figure things out and that frustrates him, okay? He doesn't want to be held accountable. Um, okay. And um, that's that's fine. I continue therapy. I'm still seeing my therapist. As a matter of fact, I have a meeting with her today and it, it's going to be real interesting to see what she says, to hear what she thinks. Um, the last time we spoke, I did tell her that we were talking about the divorce and um i was you know telling her about my frustrations she did give me information for a divorce attorney but honestly guys i did not reach out to that attorney because i just wasn't sure if i wanted to be the one to i guess you know shoot the gun because i'm someone that like i don't want to disappoint my kids i don't want to you know um I don't want to ruin something that I've take that it's taken me 13 years to build. Like that's not easy to to just let go. But I guess if you put it in someone else's hand, they'll do it, right? And he shot the gun. <laughs> but guys, um, that's it for me. I am tired. I didn't get my sleep last night, as you guys can imagine. My body would not allow me to just sleep, even though I was that tired. Plus, I had to edit a video for my other fragrance channel. Okay, guys, so to be continued. Bye. That is it for me. Um, like I said, if you want to follow me on this journey, if you're not subscribed to this channel, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you're going through anything similar, I'd like us to get through this together. I've been watching a lot of videos like this one, and they're super helpful. It's, it just helps to know that there are other people going through the same thing. And, you know, sometimes you think you are special. You think it would never happen to you. You think, oh, you're loved and all this crap and it will never happen. But it happened to me. Not really sure what the future holds. But for now, I'm just gonna go on this journey and I hope you guys come with me. Okay, bye.